In this video, we'll offer some tips on choosing your assumed latitude. An assumed latitude must be kept in whole degrees with no arc minutes. This is simply to keep the site reduction tables reduced to a small number of books. Even so, by keeping the assumed latitude and local hour angle restricted to zero arc minutes, our site reduction tables still take up six volumes. Imagine how much larger these tables would be if we included fractions of a degree. It would be difficult to carry them on a ship. When choosing your assumed latitude, pick the closest degree near your dead reckoning. In our example, we had a dead reckoning latitude of 30 degrees north and 12 arc minutes. Earlier, when completing LHA on the site reduction form, we had an assumed longitude of 60 degrees west and 46.5 arc minutes. So we wish to pick an assumed latitude at the nearest whole degree, which we see is 30 degrees north. We marked the assumed position on our chart. We note our assumed latitude on the site reduction form. We also need to note whether the assumed latitude is in the same hemisphere as our declination, circling either same or contrary for assumed latitude. In our example, we see that the declination is in the southern hemisphere, while our assumed latitude is in the northern hemisphere. These are not the same, so we circle contrary. This concludes our video on assumed position. To test your understanding of what we covered in this video, click this link. It'll take you to a few questions designed to help you remember these concepts. Once you are comfortable with this material, you can move on to section 4 by clicking this link.